Hey YouTube, I thought I'd do a little video on the um, SAR Arms B6P and um, I searched YouTube to try to find a video or some kind of information on how to remove the firing pin so that I could clean the uh, inside of the slide. But I couldn't find anything, so um, I worked on this gun and finally figured it out. So I thought I'd go ahead and share that with the rest of YouTube. So um, these are great guns for under $300, man. This is an excellent purchase. So I definitely recommend you get one. Um, they shoot great. The trigger gets easier as they uh, get broken in. Um, you can get some really good Metgar magazines for these that are 17 round magazines <clears throat> that'll hold 17 rounds and um, you can get these from grabagun.com again that's grabagun.com and um, these fit perfectly but you have to order these for the CZ 75 Bravo so it's got to be the CZ 75 Bravo, Bravo and um, they fit great but uh, you need a little bit of extra firepower. Everybody wants more bullets, so you always want to get a better magazine. <clears throat> I think the uh, ones that come with it are 15. At least that's what I see here. So um, these are 15. And um, I think these are Metgar mags, but it doesn't say. But uh, it only comes with one. And, um, you know, even still, it's a, it's a good purchase for under $300. So let's pull this thing apart real quick. And again, I'm sure you guys have already gotten this far, and I'm sure you've already done this part, but pull the buffer spring and rod out. <clears throat> pull the barrel out. Now, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to remove the firing pin and spring that's, of course, housed inside the uh, upper slide. So the easiest way I found to do this was to press in on the firing pin. Basically that's what you've got here because this is a uh, hammer operated um, weapon. So you've got your firing pin right here and then the firing pin, firing pin retainer plate. So you push in on the firing pin and you push down this plate pretty simply. and. Um, what will happen is when I pull it down, the firing pin is going to spring out and probably go flying across the room, but I'll try not to let that happen this time. Yeah, that's never any fun when you have to chase springs around the room. Anyway, so there's the firing pin and the spring. And this little... Um, retainer not sure exactly what that is but you have to push down on that just a little bit and then you'll pull your firing pin and your spring out come apart of course I've already cleaned it it's lubed up and ready to go so we'll set that aside and then this little spring loaded piece here of course fits inside this uh, this guns very simple there's not a whole lot to it. I can imagine to use the uh, extractor or get the extractor out, you're going to have to hammer this pin out. I um, haven't got that far yet. I've only got about 600 rounds through it, so um, I'm not going to hammer that out and remove that yet. But uh, once I do, then I'll be able to clean un underneath it and check the spring. But uh, this thing's a great, a great gun. It's very accurate for what it is. The sights are fixed but I've heard that you can whack on this rear sight or at least read on on the internet that this rear sight will move and it appears when you really look at it it appears that you can I believe you can whack it left to right for your windage and um, I may just do that I haven't taken it out to the range in a few weeks so I may just do that but really that's it so what you need to do is you'll need to put this um, 
little spring and pin back in there and make sure hopefully my fingers aren't in the way you can see it's got a notch in it that little notch goes towards the center of the slide or towards the firing pin then you'll take your firing pin and spring you'll insert it while you're pushing down on that pin and what you're going to do is hopefully you can see this here there's a flat spot in the in the back of the firing pin there's a little notch and then a flat spot so that flat spot right there in fact let me point it out this flat spot needs to be to the right side of the top of the slide so try not to get that you know mixed up or turned around and then uh, this this little open notch here I believe is supposed to be pointed towards the bottom of the slide so all we should have to do is push in just a little bit on that pin and then slide that dude right back in there and once it's in there of course somehow we have to retain it before we put our uh, <clears throat> retainer plate back in there and I think last time I did this I just used a straight uh, these little picks here to hold it and push it in oops I guess I'll use my finger and see if I can get this thing started nope it's not gonna work I'm gonna have to use something I think I'll use this paintbrush here and I believe this little notch that's towards me I believe it goes to the left of the slide but we'll find that out here in a second now I think I've I've got it in there crooked there we go so it went right back in there. So just to look at it again, <clears throat> in order to pull that out, you push in on the firing pin, and then you push down on this little retainer here. I'm not going to pull it out this time, but you can see how it comes out there. You just pull it out, and the rest of it's history. So push it back in, and we can reassemble the weapon. I got this thing really greased up, man. Yeah, that's a great, um, great gun for under 300 bucks. You can't beat it. Go to grabagun.com and get you some uh, high capacity magazines so you've got uh, plenty of firepower. But man, can't beat this thing, man. It's a great gun. Thanks for watching.